there's some jobs where you want a particularly accurate size for your cuts and you might be finding that normal operation your measurements are coming out just a bit off and that's possibly because the calibration of your stepper motors is slightly off now there's a way in the software that you can uh, permanently correct for that after you make a few measurements and I'll demonstrate that so to calibrate the X and Y axes, I'm going to make uh, two series of cuts, a known distance, and then I can measure with a ruler, see how accurate they were. So first in black, I'll make a mark here, draw a line to help guide my ruler straight when I measure it, and then another mark here, which is uh, 400 millimeters away. Then in the Y direction, I'll make a mark, a line to guide the ruler, and another mark which is 250 millimeters away from the top one. So both these lines will fit on an A3 size piece of paper so I can cut it, measure it and then see how it goes. So the line itself has a thickness of about a quarter of a millimeter. So that's why I didn't just do one straight line and measure the length because I don't know the true starting point because it bleeds over a bit from where the laser was. So I'm going to measure from the very front edge of this line and then to the front edge of the final line. And if I can measure it within about, say, a quarter of a millimetre, that should give me a fairly accurate enough reading for working with it. So when I go in at the final line and I'll go in I go in with like a lens to get just a really good idea of where it's cutting the line. So I get the uh, 400 millimeter section I drew off has a true distance of 401.5. So that's a difference of around 99.5%. So that could make uh, a big difference if I'm actually trying to make parts that fit. So I'll just repeat the measurement again for the Y direction which was a 250 millimeter line. So when I look at that one with the lens I get 251.75 is the true distance. So in the software, we go to the vendor settings and the default password is RD8888. So this is the uh, machine parameters that control things like the stepper motors and some other things. So first thing to do is hit the read button. So this is going to read what all the values stored on the machine are. So on the motors tab, what we want to do is change what the step length is because this is what the software uses to determine the number of steps and what distance it goes each time, which is wrong as we found. So if we hit this button here, first the graph length we enter in the value that we tried to measure out and the measured length we enter in the value that we actually recorded. So when we apply that, we'll see this step length changes a very small amount. So for the X motor, we'll do the same thing. So that was 250, and the measured length was 251.75. So now with those values changed, hitting the right button will, through the USB connection, apply it to the machine, and that will be uh, permanent to the machine every time you turn the machine on and off it will have this step length saved to it until we do something to change it in the future and also I will save a file there so if I ever need to I can use the open function to pull it back up off the computer and that's calibrated there Alright, so now we measure that up. Uh, 
uh, you can see that it comes closer and it accurately cuts out 400 millimeters when it's say to do that and in the y direction I'll line it up the other side and it now cuts to 250 millimeters when I tell it to cut 250 millimeters.